I'm sorry. I spent my whole life regretting what I've done to you. Shut up! After having rescued his son Kofun, Baba Vas is trying to locate and free his daughter Haniwa from the clutches of his brother Ido Vas, the general of the Trevantian army. Baba tracks her to Trevantes, the capital of the Trevantian Republic, and manages to infiltrate the city, but Ido is alerted of his presence. Inside the capital, Haniwa is secretly held captive by Ido and his right-hand woman Ren with Haniwa soon realizing that Ren can actually see. Back in control again, Queen Kane, whose name is Seabeth, together with Magra and the leftovers of the Pine army, march to Pensa, the main city of the Pine kingdom, since Kanzua was destroyed by Seabeth herself. The ruler of Pensa, Lord Harlan, isn't quite happy with the arrival of the queen, but is for the moment forced to submit to her wishes. Having been instructed by Baba to wait for him outside of Cervantes, Kofun and Paris are found by Toad and his witchfinders, and Kofun is taken to Pensa. After consecrating Pensa as the new capital of the Pine Kingdom, Sibet tells the people that the Cervantians are responsible for destroying Kanzua because they had heard that she is carrying a sighted child. Back in Cervantes, Baba tries to locate Haniwa, but instead of freeing her, he is captured. Baba is being tortured on instructions from Ido, who vows to make him pay for what he has done, which is revealed to be the killing of their father a long time ago and fleeing the city. While Baba is held captive, Haniwa and Ren start bonding with each other. In Penza, Sibeth is eager to go on the offensive against the Trevantians, while all of her advisors advise caution and even defensive actions. After having heard that the supposed attack of the Trevantians on Kanzua is a lie, Harlem proposes an alliance by marrying the queen. But Sibet offers him Magra instead. Later that day, Boots is killed by Sibet in her chamber after learning that she has lost her unborn child. In Trevantes, Ido tries to persuade the Triangle, a ruling body consisting of three members who lead the Trevantian Republic, to the importance of sighted children, but the Triangle dismisses his ideas. Ido has Baba then locked up in a cell, where Tomakti Jun is also being held, revealing that he had survived Boots' attack. Tamakti tells Baba that Magra is still alive, while Ren learns that Ido plans to use Haniwa as a breeding factory for his army of sighted soldiers. Having grown to care about her, Ren frees Baba and Tamakti, and together they locate and free Haniwa and escape Trevantes, except for Ren, who decides to stay. With the escape of Baba, Tamakti and Haniwa, Ido is scolded by the Triangle for his failure. Wanting to meet up with Paris and Kofun, Baba's group is unable to locate them, but Haniwa sees a message left behind by Kofun that they are headed to Pensa. They continue their journey but are then attacked by slavers. Paris and her band of women warriors then show up and save them. With the slavers dealt with, Paris tells them the story of the Compass, a secret female-run organization which has protected sighted children for years, and that she was once a member, but was casted out because she let a certain boy, Gerla Morel, become too powerful and slip through their fingers. Meanwhile in Penza, Sibeth convinces Magra to marry Harlan for political reasons, and Magra agrees on the condition that he will try to find her family. While en route to Penza, Toad's witchfinders want to kill Kofun for being a witch, aka sighted, but Toad kills one of them while the other escapes. Now being blind after his battle with Baba Vaz, Jerla Morel is being visited by Ido, who soon decapitates Jerla Morel after realizing that he is blind and thus no longer useful. Continuing their journey to Pensa, Baba's group is forced to stop since Baba Vaz is physically unable to continue due to the wounds he suffered from his imprisonment under Edo. Thanks to Paris' connections, they are given shelter in a nearby village, with their friend Bo Lying welcoming them. Tamakti is forced to camp outside of the village, since in his past as Witchfinder General, he had slaughtered many members of that village. 
He reveals to Paris his regret for a lot of things he had done on orders from Seabed, with her abandoning him and being responsible for the death of his wife and his children during the flooding of Kanzua. In Trevantes, the Triangle does not allow Ido to attack the Paians, since they already have a war with the Ganites in the west. Instead, military, one of the members of the Triangle, plans to send a delegation to the Paians and come to an agreement diplomatically. Kofun and To then arrive in Penza, just before Magra's wedding. After being reunited with his mother, Kofun learns of his mother's wedding to Harlan and is not pleased with it. Later that day, Sibet seduces Kofun into an intimate relationship, while Magra has her new husband's brother Kerrigan sent on a mission to locate her lost family. With the chances of a war against the Trevantians increasing every day, Magra implores Seabeth to allow for a peaceful solution, one that requires no dead bodies in the end. Seabeth eventually allows for a peace summit, but demands that the Trevantians have to formally apologize and compensate for the incurred damage, fully realizing that the chances of that are zero. Baba Vaz and the rest of his company then finally arrive in Penza. After meeting with his wife, Baba learns, much to his frustration and anger, that she now is his ex-wife, since she's married to Harlan. Later that day, Sibet organizes a dinner party for the family in Paris. But instead of trying to spark a sense of unity, she sows distrust by trying to play out Baba, Harlan and Magra against each other. That night, Baba and Magra are forced to set their feelings aside for the moment and convene with the Magti with the three of them coming to the conclusion that peace with the Trevantians can only be achieved if Seabeth is dethroned or dead. While her sister is planning to strip her of her power, Seabeth is hatching her own plot to retain that same power, by tricking Kofun into a scheme in which the end result will be a divine and sighted child of her own. That night, Harlan receives a package from a messenger and shockingly learns that it is the head of his brother Kerrigan. With their mission clear, Baba Vaz, Magra and Harlan leave Pensa for a diplomatic meeting with the Trevantian delegation, which includes Ren, who has secretly been instructed by Ido to prevent a peace and pave the way for war. Meanwhile in Penza, Sibeth furthers her plans with Kofun and reaches a climax, quite literally, after she and her cousin have sex. At the summit, both parties seem seriously interested in peace, until Magra brings up Seabed's demand of a formal apology and one of the Trevantians reveals that they had killed Kerrigan, Harlan's brother. Hearing this, Harlan goes into a frenzy and even attacks the Trevantian, causing the meeting to be stopped. Later that night, Harlan sets up a secret meeting with Magra and Ambassador Scopus, the leader of the Trevantian delegation. Magra reveals to him that she knows that they are not responsible for the destruction of Kanzua and promises that if he agrees to apologize, she will depose Seabed and reveal the truth to everyone. Scopus agrees with the plan and the next day the peace summit is resumed and everything is discussed to usher in an era of peace. However, that night the peace summit camp is sneakily attacked and the Trevantian delegation is killed. The assassins are dealt with, but the damage is already done and irreparable. Baba Vaz and Magra soon realize that Seabed is responsible and that the summit was just a tactic to commit an act of war of which there is no going back. When everyone has returned to Penza from the peace summit, Tamakti exposes Seabed for the destruction of Kanzua, with Magra joining the general and Harlem backing them. Seabed is the post and headed to the executioner's block. But Paris stops the planned execution and reveals that Seabed is pregnant, from Kofun of course. Knowing that the Trevantian army is on the move with 250 soldiers, Magra and her council make preparations for the smaller Payan army of 160 soldiers to soon leave for Green Hill Gap, a defensible fortress in which they can bottleneck the Trevantian army. With the preparations done, Queen Magra gives her army an emotional speech, while Baba Va sends Paris on a secret mission, with Toad joining her. Knowing that Penza is left vulnerable, Ido has sent assassins to kill Queen Magra. However, before they can ambush her, she hears them coming and together with Harlan, they manage to narrowly beat them and escape with their lives, with Harlan severely wounded. With the Pine army having reached Greenhill Gap, they soon come to realize that the Trevantian army has arrived as well, with even more soldiers than they had been told. 
With both armies standing opposite from each other, Haniwa tries a last attempt at peace with Ren, but her lover tells her it is too late and the Trevantian arrows are let loose. Haniwa makes it back in time into the fortress and the Trevantians soon follow her and try to knock down the gates with a battering ram. With the Pines believing that death is coming, Bo Lion, Paris and Toad arrive with a hundred hidden tribe soldiers. With the reinforcements now there, Baba Vaz gives a war speech to his men and decides to open the fort gates and let the enemy in. The Trevantians cautiously walk inside the fortress but are brutally picked off. Ido decides that he has heard enough and orders his army to storm the fort. A full-scale battle ensues and soldiers from both armies die horrendous deaths, including Toad. More Trevantians than Ido would have liked die in the battle thanks to the pine traps and tactics, with the final and biggest ploy being leading most of the Trevantian army onto an ice field and then breaking the ice from underneath them. Ido then challenges Baba to a one-on-one -on -one fight and Baba manages to defeat him, but is unwilling to kill him. Baba then tells Ido that their father instructed him to kill Ido, but that he didn't do it then and won't do it now. But when Ido attacks him, he is forced to kill his own brother, who dies, but in his final moments realizes that their father was the prick, not Baba. With the Trevantian army defeated and captured, Haniwa lets Ren go and the army returns to Pensa. Magra promotes the Makti to general of the army and declares that the Witchfinder force is no more, since the sighted are no longer considered witches. After his reunion with Magra, Baba Vaz decides that Pensa is not his home and sneaks away the following morning, while Oloman, Cherla Morel's son, introduces explosives to Ido's scientist. Sometime later, Paris checks in on Seabeth, who suddenly slices Paris' throat while telling her that she will kill her child before she lets it be taken.